Let's go. All right, what's up, guys? Dude Grundy here, another speedrun guide. We are once again doing Sunshine. We are once again doing a 20 shine run, except we're going to be playing a completely different game. We're playing the Ridge. And of course, by Ridge, I mean the Switch emulated version, as my GameCube is long gone. None of that 64 ROM hack crap. Right off the bat here, we are going to get into some speed tech, and you're going to see it again here in a second as we come back to these islands, um, which is buffered spin jump. So you can do a spin jump, which is a normal mechanic, you know, spin the analog stick and press A. But if you do that input early, like let's say you're falling, right before you hit the ground, do the input so it buffers it. Mario will land, take a couple steps, and then he'll do the spin jump on the first frame possible, and um, which would be much, much longer. So right here, I'm going for buffered spin jumps. Um, they can vary in length, too, and uh, they're just super, super, super essential because they're way longer. Right here to set up for this jump, I like to bonk off this little divider here and uh, jump at the same time uh, every time. Try to like, jump off this first ramp here and just fly all the way down. But yeah, we're not doing any percent run. I was learning that run for a really long time, but I just didn't quite get it down where I was like, could actually get through the, it's a long ass game. It's a long ass run. Um, it's like a fucking two hour run, 145, if you're like super, super duper fast. Two, two and a half hours for me probably, you know. Uh, so we're doing the 20 shine run, a little short and sweet. This is a, this is the better run to like get into running the game anyway, because so it's not nearly as intimidating. Uh, right here we got spam sprays. So you do this by pressing A and the trigger at the same time, and you're jumping and uh, it's kind of like quick scoping almost, where like you're kind of zooming in the spray or whatever. But yeah, you just spam that. It's a lot easier on Switch, and you'll do these big shotgun blast of water that deal like way more damage than they should. Uh, you get like one shot fucking Shadow Mario and stuff with them. So right there with that first boss, that's what I was doing. Just spam spray and uh, doing uh, spin jumps while I'm shooting water to kind of like clear the area and shit. So, yeah. That first one too, that's the only one of those like whatever dudes that like those big guys um the other ones if you shoot them it'll make them flinch uh that's what they look like it'll make them flinch so uh oh oh here with shadow mario it's all about spacing if you're too close you'll you won't be shooting him you'll be shooting like right through him so it's all about getting that that spacing uh down and you really want to knock him out before he like comes around to this corner because otherwise it's just like a lot slower right here we're gonna spam spray this x to get the blue coin. And we do it right there because it saves a little time while uh, Shadow Mario's doing his thing. And it's a pretty tight window here, but we can uh, come down and grab it right after the cutscene. And now we're doing uh, the coconut clip. Basically, just use the tiles uh, to line up the coconut, kind of get it on the X of the tiles. And you're trying to jump and like slide off the wall and mash yourself in between the coconut. Um, takes me a few tries here to get it, but ends up still being a pretty good run. This first split, though, is, uh, is a red one, because, yeah, just because I, just because of that, just because it took a few tries to do that, I kind of had this down pretty tight, at least as far as, as good as I could do it. I'm pretty sure this run is sub-30, because that would have been my goal. All right. Ooh, yeah, this guy's super fun. So what we're doing here is we're just not wasting any time with, like, cutscenes. We're going to be, you know, multitasking, doing things while the cutscenes are going on. So in between shots here, while we can't shoot him, because you can only shoot him when the mouse open, we're, we're setting up. Get his head at the bottom of the screen there. And so now there's a, you know, cutscene of him transitioning to his second phase. We're using this time to get set up so we can crush this box, quickly spam spray and grab the blue coin during this whole final animation here. Um, and then it'll warp us back to the beginning, like right in front of him. So it's pretty tight. It's a really fun, satisfying skip. So like as soon as I shoot this, like it hits him, he's dying. And we're using the short time that we have where we're forced to wait to grab this 
this blue coin here. God, how many? There's 20 blue coins, I think. Um, pretty sure there's 20. And you want to grab those because you can, at the very end of the run, take them to the little raccoon tanuki dudes. And they'll give you shines for it as well. Here we're doing a, well, I tried to do a momentum uh, spin jump where you use a, uh, a, like a angle. Um, there's really crazy physics in this game. Like at an angle, you'll gain a lot of speed in different ways. And so by doing a spin jump kind of like on an angle there, you can get even more uh, height than a buffered spin jump sometimes. And the last shine here of Delfino Plaza is just up here in the tower. This was a pretty good opening split. It's just red because I just had done, I just got the coconut clip like first try one time. And so there you go. One thing that's really fun about this 20 shine run too is unlike the 64 version we were doing last time, we get to go to like multiple different levels. So you, you know, you would think, oh, you're just doing the first 20 shines. So right here, this movement too is really, really satisfying. Um, so try to copy that if you can. And I try to, I go for some swag here a couple times and miss it or slide off of the roof here. But um, shit, what was I saying? Oh, just like you would think, oh, you're doing the first 20 shines. So you just do like the first level or two. And that is the case with the 64 one. Right here's the swag I missed. Like the like first person slide off the roof there. Um, I think I ended up like, Accidentally missing him. Yeah. Losing a little bit of time. Uh, and so the first level that we do, like, all the shines in 64... What's that one called again? Bianco Hills. We're only getting, like, one shine there. We're going to be doing a lot of different levels instead. So it's a completely different run. Oh, Gelato Beach. Gelato Skip. Gelato skip is the biggest skip in any percent. Saves like 10 minutes or something like that. Spent a long time practicing it for sure. Don't have to worry about it here though. We're just going to be knocking out these first couple shines real quick. This one's like a little secret shine in the dirt here. What else can I say about movement? I mean, water slides... You know, water slide everywhere. That's the fastest. Look at that spam spray, dude. It just like instantly got... And then look at that spam... One spam spray. It's like you could sit there and... Or you could do just like one perfect spam spray and boom, it instantly get it. God, dude, watching this just like makes me want to play it so bad. Oh yeah, right here we're doing like buffered spin jumps. If you... Uh, what was it called? Dashing? Diving? If you dive and roll out going up a slope too, and we'll see that later on as well. That'll also like gain you a bunch of momentum, a bunch of speed, even like going uphill. So that's kind of what I was doing there too with the rollout at the end. And the second shine here is the sandcastle one. Pretty tricky, it's a secret. Is it the only secret we do in my... No, I mean, there's a secret at the beginning, but like only secret where we don't get flood. The secrets are notoriously difficult in this game, dude. This game in general can be pretty forgiving. Um, another like weird thing with the hitboxes here, it's like I had to kind of like back up and... Oh yeah, with the bell earlier on, we were spam spraying the bell. You really got to get like in the perfect position or you could waste all your water super... Like really easily. Um, this is a funny thing, I get hit. So I'm like flying up in the air. But it happened during the cutscene, so didn't lose too much time on that. This part's really satisfying. Just getting the movement down pretty solid, so you're able to dive and roll out, as opposed to just like running through it, slow mo or whatever. This game is so fun, though. Really satisfying physics. Sometimes pretty jank. For the most part, it's pretty cool. Or jank in a good way. I end up choking here coming up uh, at the end. Just because it's like so scary. Like just like that, you know, with the with the sand blocks disappearing. I lose a little bit of time. It's all right. What do we got next? Pianta Village. Pianta Village is supposed to be like the last world in the game. But most runs you do it pretty early on. 
And you know, there's a couple different ways, a few different ways to get up there. When I do any percent, I like to do it, do Pianta Village kind of like in the middle and use this really cool Yoshi trick where just if you like pause twice, dive in the sewer hole that we did earlier, the man cover hole thing, and you shoot up, you'll shoot up just like super high. It's really, that's the easiest way to do it, but we can't do it in, in the uh, 20 shine run. So instead I'm going for a triple jump turn around to like grab the edge it's really tight i missed it a few times here um you know end up losing a bunch of time but i kept going with this run i i didn't want to reset apparently and ended up being a decent run but the other way to do it is to do like a spin jump or buffered spin jump and then you like y first person in the air to turn around because you turn around like you pivot on a dime like much quicker um in first person so you can like do that in the air i never quite got that shit down other than doing glitchy wall kicks which there's one in this run that i go for and i don't get it but glitchy wall kick is where you like spin jump into a wall or you and you jump off the wall and you like first person dive at the same time instead of bouncing like off the wall you bounce over it so if there's if there's like ledges where you just like can't quite get it you could do the glitchy wall kick to like jump over it. I'll show you the time and go for it. I finally get it here. Jeez. Pianta Village is all about giving chain chomp doggies baths. That's really the main thing here. Um, so first we got three little dudes. I'm pretty sure they always spawn in the same spot. And maybe move in the same way because I always try to get this first one and shoot it straight down here right when the second one's getting there and then kind of get them get those two in the in the lake real quick but I kind of fumble it here it's it can be really awkward with grabbing its tail and you turn around really slow so right there I was just like bouncing it off so I could quickly turn around There's a skip at the end of this level where once the third dog goes in the water, a uh, shortcut scene will play where just like a text box will come up from Flood that says like, don't harm your pets or something, which is nice that they included that. Um, considering the themes, you're like pulling the dog's tail. And it's, ah! um, so, but uh, to skip that, right when that starts, you just press start and it'll, it'll skip it, so... This level can be pretty wonk with just like these dudes flying all over the place. Unfortunate uh, bonk there on the lava. And so right here, once the last guy goes in, I'm going to pause. Right when, when Flood said Mario right there, I just like cut him off. Like, nah. Oh, shine cancels too. So to grab the shine super fast, you do you just do a ground pound. I'm pretty sure. Just like jump up, do a you know short hop ground pound to grab the shines real quick. I didn't do it right there, but yeah. This next level is a weird one. We don't have flood, but it's not a secret. No, 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 no. This is the this is the this is the race. So with this race here. <laughs> If, like, you can't really save time, per se, in the race, because you have to wait for him. He's always going to take the same amount of time to get to the end. So it's all about doing the race really fast and grabbing as many blue coins as we can. You know, not wasting any time. I end up not grabbing the last one in time before he finishes, and I just grab it right after. It's not a huge deal. It's really fun there to do the, the dive out in the first person to uh, immediately start shooting that blue coin there. Oh yeah, you can do like spin jumps into dives, buffered spin jump into a dive. Right here, we're doing a dive rollout on the, on the slant, on the angle to get a bunch of speed. And I wasn't able to grab that blue coin in time before the race, but I just grab it right after. 
kind of nerve-wracking getting up on this little part here like be careful do a nice little slide flip Boop. grab the shine and next we are doing what I was talking about earlier where we don't have flood but there's lava shit everywhere and we're supposed to you know do this whole big platforming thing blah blah blah, blah go all around but we're gonna do a skip by going out of bounds going up on a tree and doing a it's kind of like a combination like I'm doing a buffered spin jump trying to land on a slant I don't know if I'm what exactly all is going on there but uh just trying to jump as far as we can to skip the whole level so the faster way to do it is to intentionally damage boost one of these dudes oh yeah also to set up here you want to grab this ledge and that'll set up your angle and then just like jump and move in the air so that way you can run on this uh, pipe there or whatever. And then we're gonna roll out to get a bunch of speed. Use this leaf to get on the other leaf. And then just try to jump as far as we can. Big buffered spin jump and we made it. So yeah, this pretty skips like the whole level here. We're just gonna grab flood and grab a couple blue coins. The uh, second one's funny. It's you, sh you shoot the moon to get it. So I kind of like line it up. So I'm like spraying this dude and spraying the moon kind of at the same time to uh, just like save a little bit of time like right here. Like I'm spraying them off and getting the blue coin. That's pretty nice actually. Finish them off with a nice spam spray. Can you imagine? Getting shot in the face like that, like being waterboarded. <laughs> All this water shit up your nose and everything. But uh, jeez, Mario, you could have like gave me a fucking cloth or something, like a wet towel. <laughs> Point blank in the face. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. All right, now we're doing one big old chain chumpy duggy duggy. <laughs> and uh, giving it a bath. Um, <laughs> so we're going to move in a certain way to manipulate his movement. So he goes the way we want him to go. And then just spam spray him and try not to run out of water. Cool him down. Pull him into the bath. When we grab this chain up here, you can hold forward to go a little bit faster. But, uh, well, actually, right first we grab it to set him off, and then we move around the map to manipulate his movement while also grabbing, what, like two blue coins? When you do the any percent run, you don't have to worry about grabbing all these blue coins. So you have a little bit more freedom and leeway, and with the 20 shine run, you are just optimizing your movement that much more to incorporate... All these different grabs. There's like a faster way to do this too, but this is like the slower way. There's a little skip where you can like grab them at a certain time and save a little, not have to like pull them all the way in. I don't know how to do it. It didn't seem like significant enough to try to learn it over like spending time learning other tricks. So I just pull them in here. When I was a kid playing this, that like hot tub, that bath that we just put them in was like really satisfying. The water is like so realistic and everything. Like the whole game was. I was like, it's like real life. It like looks like real life. Damn. Over a minute gold split on that one. Holy shit. All right. So what are we doing? Grabbing a couple more in the plaza. And then Bianco Hills. And then Rico. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do the box game over here. Nice way to uh, smash these boxes is you can cancel a dive into a ground pound. So doing a dive, I don't do it the first couple times, but yeah, dive into the ground pound is a lot faster than doing like side flips and shit. And you can get two at a time, even if they're kind of catty corner like that. Try not to choke. 
You gotta do it twice, too. I think we gotta come all the way back. Yeah, because when you get the shine, it, like, restarts you. I love how in the 64 one, you can just spray the boxes, so you just, like, <laughs> destroy all the boxes in two seconds. Little snooby snooby. All right, time goes the baby. What are you having to say about Super Mario Sunshine? <laughs> you are so freaking stinking cute! <laughs> oh man, the, the, the any percent run is so fun. A couple fucked parts of it, but for the most part, so... Same shit there, right, with the boxes. Not much else to say. Are we grabbing the... Yeah, we're doing the dude that throws us. The Chuckster. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of fucked parts of the any percent run, the Chuckster level is one of the worst levels in the game in general, in casual or otherwise. See, so yeah, everyone get up top here. Pretty much just, you know, give him the coin. I forget where I grabbed that coin at. It's like routed in somehow. The sign? I think is it the I think it's the sign going into the box room. You need like one gold coin to have him chuck you. With Bianco Hills, we're just grabbing a few blue coins and doing the very first shine. No, no petty piranha, unfortunately. Petty piranha. Pete Piranha. None of that in this run. We do have a boss fight, though. Towards the end. My theory is that with this little mini boss that we fight up here, it was the first one programmed. I mean, it's not like a far-fetched theory. It's the first level. But there's like a couple in the beginning, right? Uh, but I think this is the first one that was programmed because it's the only one... Where when it's like spawns when it comes up out of its goo it like the angle like changes it like changes to, like this cinematic action combat angle um, really fun movement here to grabbing these and then lining up to I forget how this saves time so we shoot that oh because we grab this blue because this one goes away when you do the X's so we set that up from there grab this one. And so if you fuck that up, you can... Oh, man, that was nice. Right on top of it. But yeah, watch how, like, the angle changes here. It's it's weird. See? Yeah, I, again, I like to do those uh, little spin jump <laughs> or, like, doing that to just clear out the area. With these little goober dudes, I forget what they're called. The best way to deal with them is just to like jump in place. I think so. Because um, a lot of times you'll just like spray over them and shit and, and get hit and get pain on you. And so I just kind of let them jump at me and just like pop off them and like bounce off of them while I'm spam spraying the boss. So that's that. That's, that's, uh, that's Bianco Hills. What are we off to? Rico Harbor? Little snooby booby, booby snooby booby. <laughs> Talking to my cat. Uh, the boss fight first. I think the boss fight's first. The tentacle dude. This boss, man, this boss fight weirded me out as a kid. Because you pull his fucking arms off, dude. You pull his tentacles off, and then they're like. <laughs> and then, like, he pulls, like, lips, and, like. I always thought he had like a big like butthole or something on the back of him because when you shoot or it's like his mouth or something when you shoot him in the air it's like this big cavity I'm like what is that like squid cloaca or something oh um, grabbing more blue coins here the trick with this boss is if you dive and you just keep holding B you it's kind of the best way a lot of times to grab 
items, uh, like fruit or something like that. You can kind of dive and slide into it. Ooh, look at that. That was nice. What am I doing here? Oh, grabbing this blue coin. Bonk. So what we're doing is we're going to die. You know, we're going to wait. Gonna spam spray him. When he goes to like do this big attack, we're going to die. Keep holding B. And so we'll grab, we'll just like automatically grab his lips or whatever the fuck his mouth and start pulling him. You instinctually, like intuitively, you want to like let go and press B again, but then you end up diving into him and bonking and it's really awkward so this is how you do it right here oh missed it and you gotta wait until he does this like attack like you gotta dive at that time oh shit i didn't realize i fucked it up here Ooh, good save oh oh see look here it has like a big mouth or like like on the back of him, is it just like like what? I don't know. I was a weird kid. I was thinking about stuff like that. But no, this is a weird game. Uh, second level here is the squid surfing, baby. I don't think I do the first squid skip because it doesn't really save that much time and it's really tight and you could fuck up. So we're gonna use the squid squid kid to get into the race but then we're going to do the race without the squid by going out of bounds and hitting invisible checkpoints and back to it that's also we're also this is also the instance where we're going to see the uh, uh instance of an attempt for a glitchy wall kick i don't think i get it let me go out of bounds here and uh what is it the green squid is the best you always want to use him when you have to Be really careful here, too. It's pretty easy to bonk on this shit. And then it's just, like, game over, too. Not game over, but, like, the level. <laughs> like, you have to restart the level. Alright, so right here we're going for a glitchy wall kick. We're going to do a spin jump. Jump off the wall. I'm going to first person dive. So. Let's see how I did the first person and everything. Um, But I just didn't get it. So I just end up kind of... Doing it the slow way. We're gonna go out of bounds here. And the first invisible checkpoint, it's really easy to mess this up. The first invisible checkpoint is this corner here and you really gotta make sure you get it. That's why I kind of like run around a second time there. And the other one's on top of this structure and that's that really. Really satisfying movement right there. It's just kind of around this corner again, be really thorough. That's kind of why it took a little extra time. Ooh, I think I get a clean grab. Ooh, ooh, do I get it? I'm already ground pounding. Do I ground pound into it? Yeah. That was sick. All right, fucking last shine here other than the blue coin turn in, which is another big skip where like instead of doing this whole big level platforming bull crap, we're just gonna do a spin jump, right? Oh yeah, you can do spin jump or you can just run off of the crane and you just run off and start hovering and we'll grab that uh below the underside of like this cage here there's like a faster way to do this too we do something called a bay blade which is like we start spinning and do a momentum spin jump off of like a really sharp angle like an angle that like puts you into a butt slide <laughs> I, I i never really went for them there's also RNG to how fast the crane goes. It looks like I didn't get the slowest. It can be pretty excruciating. And if you fall and fuck this up, you can also lose a lot of time. Uh, being at the very end of the run is really stressful. Luckily, I just got it right there. Again, you just walk off, start hovering. And so, yeah, 20 blue coins. So I think with the other 20 shine runs, they do 30 blue coins? Which is crazy, like, how is it faster to grab 10 more coins than to just do one more shine? But it is, like, when you're that fast. But I just do the 20 for the last two shines here. Oh, man, look at this. I'm going to get it right under the 30-minute mark. Nice sub-30. Just in time. Damn, look at that. 
that's the run. That's that. Not too much to explain. Not too like not too many uh, skips or anything like that. It's not too much to really worry about. It's a nice, good introduction into speedrunning Sunshine. The uh, movement is just... I'm just, like, showing off here. The movement is just oh, so satisfying, dude. Whoa, dude. I'm getting crazy with it. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm going for a glitchy wall kick here. Do I get it? Come on. Let's see it. I don't remember this part. Let's do it. Come on. Ah! Nope. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. So I guess you don't do the dive. I don't have to do the dive. Um... And so going into first person, like, turns us around and allows us to jump up there. So, hey, I got to show that off. I didn't realize I did that at the very end. That's cool. So, yeah, there's that. And uh, thanks, guys. Like and subscribe. Do it.